With these can-do videos, you'll see real-life situations where you have to introduce yourself, talk about your family, or give your contact information. So, by the end, you can do them yourself in French. This video is a small portion of our can-do course. To get the full course, including translations, grammar tools, and assessment tests, click the link in the description. Welcome to Can Do French by FrenchPod101.com. Bonjour à tous, je suis Lia Mercier. Hi everyone, I'm Lia Mercier. In this lesson, you learn how to introduce yourself in French. This is Mark Lee, and he's on a plane to France. Hugues Henry, a passenger sitting next to him, introduces himself by saying, Hi, my name is Hugues. Nice to meet you. Bonjour, je m'appelle Hugues. Enchanté. Listen to the conversation and focus on Mark's response. Note, both Hugues and Mark use only their first names. Ready? Bonjour, je m'appelle Hugues. Enchanté. Je m'appelle Marc. Enchanté. Once more with the English translation. Bonjour, je m'appelle Hugues. Enchanté. Hi, my name is Hugues. Nice to meet you. Je m'appelle Marc. Enchanté. My name is Marc. Nice to meet you. Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. 1. Read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And 3. Take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our CanDo course. Just click the link in the description to get them. Let's take a closer look at Mark's response. Do you remember how Mark Lee introduces himself? My name is Mark. Nice to meet you. Je m'appelle Marc. Enchanté. Let's start with the expression Enchanté. This literally means enchanted, but it translates as nice to meet you. Enchanté. Enchanté. Do you remember how Mark Lee says, My name is Mark? Je m'appelle Marc. First is Je. I. Je. Je. Next is M'appelle. Which translates as Call myself. M'appelle. M'appelle. This starts with Me. 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 Next is Appel. Call. As in, I call. Appel. 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 Is from the verb Appeler. Meaning to call. Appeler. Me. Is contracted with Appel. To form. M'appelle. Together. Je m'appelle. Literally means, I myself call, but it translates as, my name is. Je m'appelle. Next is the name. Marc. 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 Together it's. Je m'appelle Marc. My name is Mark. Je m'appelle Mark. The pattern is Je m'appelle name. 
My name is name. Je m'appelle name. To use this pattern, simply replace the name placeholder with your name. Imagine you're Karen. In French, Karen. 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 Say, My name is Karen. Ready? Je m'appelle Karen. My name is Karen. Je m'appelle Karen. In written French, the spelling of the expression enchanté will depend on the genders of a speaker. For male speakers, enchanté. For female speakers, enchanté. Note the additional e at the end of the word. The pronunciation of these two variations will be exactly the same. Let's look at some more examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Je m'appelle Hugues. Enchanté. Je m'appelle Hugues. Enchanté. Je m'appelle Marc. Enchanté. Je m'appelle Marc. Enchanté. Je m'appelle Karen. Enchanté. Je m'appelle Karen. Enchanté. Je m'appelle Lia. Enchanté. Je m'appelle Lia. Enchanté. Je suis Sadia. Enchanté. Je suis Sadia. Enchanté. Did you notice how the last speaker uses a different pattern? Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. 1. Read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And 3. Take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our CanDo course. Just click the link in the description to get them. She says, Je suis Sadia. Enchanté. I'm Sadia. Nice to meet you. Je suis Sadia. Enchanté. First is, Je. I. Je. Next is, Suis. Am. Suis. 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 Is from the verb, Être. Meaning, to be. Être. Next is the name, Sadia. 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 Altogether, Je suis Sadia. I am Sadia. Je suis Sadia. The pattern is Je suis name. I am name. Je suis name. You should be aware of this pattern, but for this lesson, we'll use the pattern Je m'appelle name. My name is name. Je m'appelle name. Let's review the key vocabulary. Bonjour. Hi. Bonjour. Bonjour. Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say I? Je. Je. And how to say, I call myself. Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle. 
Do you remember how Mark says, My name is Mark. Je m'appelle Marc. Je m'appelle Marc. Do you remember how to say, Nice to meet you? Enchanté. Enchanté. Do you remember how Mark says, My name is Mark. Nice to meet you. Je m'appelle Marc. Enchanté. Je m'appelle Marc. Enchanté. Do you remember how Hugues says hi? Bonjour. Bonjour. Do you remember how Hugues says hi? My name is Hugues. Nice to meet you. Bonjour, je m'appelle Hugues. Enchanté. Bonjour, je m'appelle Hugues. Enchanté. Let's practice. Imagine you're Karen. Karen. Respond to Hugues self-introduction. Ready? Bonjour, je m'appelle Hugues. Enchanté. Je m'appelle Karen. Enchanté. Listen again and repeat. Je m'appelle Karen. Enchanté. Je m'appelle Karen. Enchanté. Let's try another. Imagine you're Sadia. Sadia. Ready? Bonjour. Je m'appelle Hugues. Enchanté. Je m'appelle Sadia. Enchanté. Listen again and repeat. Je m'appelle Sadia. Enchanté. Je m'appelle Sadia. Enchanté. Let's try one more. Imagine you're Leah. Leah. Ready? Bonjour, je m'appelle Hugues. Enchanté. Je m'appelle Lia. Enchanté. Listen again and repeat. Je m'appelle Lia. Enchanté. Je m'appelle Lia. Enchanté. In France, when two people meet for the first time, it's also common to just say your name on its own. Right after saying bonjour, you pause a bit and give your name. For example, bonjour, Lia, enchanté. Hello, Lia, nice to meet you. This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our CanDo course. Well done! Now you know how to introduce yourself in French. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson.
Welcome to Can Do French by FrenchPod101.com. Bonjour à tous, je suis Lia Mercier. Hi everyone, I'm Lia Mercier. In this lesson, you'll learn how to tell someone where you're from in French. This is Mark Lee, and he's on a plane to France. Hugh Henry, a passenger sitting next to him, asks, Where are you from? D'où venez-vous? Listen to the conversation and focus on Mark's response. Note, the speakers in this conversation use formal French. Ready? D'où venez-vous? Je viens de New York. Once more with the English translation. D'où venez-vous? Where are you from? Je viens de New York. I'm from New York. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how Oog Henry asks, Where are you from? D'où venez-vous? First is, D'où? From where? D'où? This starts with, De. Which translates as, from, in this context. De. De. Next is, Où? Meaning, where? Où? Où? De. Is contracted with, Où? To form, D'où? Next is, Venez. Come, as in, you come. Venez. 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 Is from the verb, Venir. Meaning, to come. Venir. After this is, Vous. Which is literally the plural form of, you, as in, you all. But it's also the formal way to address a single person as is the case here. Vous. Vous. Together. Venez-vous? Translates as, you come. Venez-vous? All together. D'où venez-vous? Literally means, from where come you. But it translates as, where are you from? D'où venez-vous? Remember this question. You'll hear it again later in this lesson. Now, let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Mark Lee says, I'm from New York. Je viens de New York. First is, Je. I. Je. Je. Next is, Viens. Meaning come, as in, I come. Viens, viens, viens. Is from the verb venir, meaning to come. Venir. After this is de, which means from in this context. De. Last is the city. New York. New York. New York. New York. Altogether, it's Je viens de New York. This literally means I come from New York, but can translate as I'm from New York. Je viens de New York. The pattern is Je viens de city name. I'm from city name. Je viens de city name. To use this pattern, Simply replace the city name placeholder with the name of your hometown. Imagine you're from Sydney. 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 Say, I'm from Sydney. Ready? Je viens de Sydney. I'm from Sydney. Je viens de Sydney. When talking about where you're from, de is used before feminine nouns. All cities are feminine in French, so when talking about your hometown or home city, use de. You can also use this pattern with countries. 
However, countries can be either masculine or feminine. If you use this pattern with a country name that's masculine, use du instead of de. For example, je viens de France. France, France, is feminine. Je viens du Japon. Japon, Japan, is masculine. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat, or speak along with the native speakers. Je viens de New York. Je viens de New York. Je viens de Nantes. Je viens de Nantes. Je viens de Seattle. Je viens de Seattle. Je viens de Londres. Je viens de Londres. Je viens de Paris. Je viens de Paris. Je suis australienne. Je suis australienne. Did you notice how the last speaker uses a different pattern? She says, Je suis australienne. I'm Australian. Je suis australienne. First is, Je. I. Je. Je. Next is, Suis. Am. As in, I am. Suis. 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 Is from the verb. Être. Meaning to be. Être. Together it's. Je suis. Meaning, I am. Je suis. After this is. Australienne. Meaning Australian. 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 Note. Australian. Is feminine. This pattern is. Je suis nationality. I'm nationality. Je suis nationality. In Mia Martin's case, she uses the feminine adjective. Australian. To describe herself. Je suis Australienne. In the case of a male speaker from Australia, he would use a masculine adjective. Australien. To describe himself. Je suis Australien. I'm Australian. Je suis Australien. You should be aware of this pattern, but for this lesson, we'll use the pattern. Je viens de city name. I am from city name. Je viens de city name. Let's review the key vocabulary. Nantes. 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 Seattle. 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 Londres. London. Londres. Londres. Paris. 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 Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then, repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say New York? New York. New York. And how to say from New York? De New York. De New York. 
Do you remember how to say I? Je. Je. Do you remember how Mark Lee says I'm from New York? Je viens de New York. Je viens de New York. Do you remember the formal way to say you? Vous. Vous. And how to say from where? Do. Do. Do you remember how Hugues Henri asks, Where are you from? D'où venez-vous? D'où venez-vous? Do you remember how to say London? Londres. Londres. Do you remember how to say Seattle? Seattle. Seattle. Do you remember how to say Paris? Paris. Paris. Let's practice. Imagine you're Jack Jones from London. Respond to Oog Henry's question. Ready? D'où venez-vous? Je viens de Londres. Listen again and repeat. Je viens de Londres. Je viens de Londres. Let's try another. Imagine you're Emma Auge from Seattle. Ready? D'où venez-vous? Je viens de Seattle. Listen again and repeat. Je viens de Seattle. Je viens de Seattle. Let's try one more. Imagine you're Liam Mercier from Paris. Ready? D'où venez-vous? Je viens de Paris. Listen again and repeat. Je viens de Paris. Je viens de Paris. This is the end of this lesson. Remember, these can-do lessons are about learning practical language skills. What's next? Show us what you can do. When you're ready, take your assessment. You can take it again and again, so try any time you like. Our teachers will assess it and give you your results. Well done! Now you know how to tell where you are from in French. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our CanDo course. Well done. Now you know how to tell where you are from in French. That's all there is to it. 
keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Welcome to Can Do French by FrenchPod101.com. Bonjour à tous, je suis Lia Mercier. Hi everyone, I'm Lia Mercier. In this lesson, you'll learn how to talk about your occupation in French. This is Mark Lee, and he's on a plane to France. He asks the passenger sitting next to him, Oug Henry, are you a student? Êtes-vous étudiant? Listen to the conversation and focus on Hugues' response. The speakers in this conversation use formal French. Ready? Êtes-vous étudiant? Non, je ne suis pas étudiant. Je suis investisseur. Once more with the English translation. Êtes-vous étudiant? Are you a student? Non, je ne suis pas étudiant. Je suis investisseur. No, I'm not a student. I'm an investor. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how Mark asks, Are you a student? Êtes-vous étudiant? First is, Et. Are, as in, are you. Et, 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 is from the verb être, meaning to be. Être. After this is vous, the plural form of you, as in you all, but here it's the formal way to address a single person. Vous, vous. Together, êtes-vous, are you, when addressing a single person. Êtes-vous? Last is the word. Étudiant. Student. Étudiant. Étudiant. In French, all nouns have grammatical gender and are either singular or plural. Étudiant. Is masculine singular. Altogether, it's. Êtes-vous étudiant? Are you a student? Êtes-vous étudiant? Now, let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Oog says, No, I'm not a student. I'm an investor. Non, je ne suis pas étudiant. Je suis investisseur. First is, Non. No. Non. Non. It answers Mark's yes or no question. Are you a student? Êtes-vous étudiant? After this, Oog specifies that he's not a student. Je ne suis pas étudiant. I'm not a student. Je ne suis pas étudiant. First is... Je. I. Je. Je. After this is... Ne suis pas. Meaning am not. Ne suis pas. Let's start with suis, meaning am, as in I am. Suis, 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 is from the verb être, meaning to be. Être. Before the verb is ne, ne, ne. After the verb is pas, pas, pas. Together, ne pas means not. Ne pas. Altogether, it's je ne suis pas. I am not. Je ne suis pas. Next is étudiant. Student. Étudiant. Altogether, je ne suis pas étudiant. I'm not a student. Je ne suis pas étudiant. Oog then tells Mark his actual occupation. Je suis investisseur. I'm an investor. Je suis investisseur. 
First is je I je Next is suis am as in I am suis Last is investisseur investor investisseur investisseur The word investisseur is a masculine singular noun together Je suis investisseur I'm an investor Je suis investisseur All together Non, je ne suis pas étudiant. Je suis investisseur. No, I'm not a student. I'm an investor. Non, je ne suis pas étudiant. Je suis investisseur. The pattern is Non, je ne suis pas occupation. Je suis actual occupation. No, I'm not occupation. I'm actual occupation. Non, je ne suis pas occupation. Je suis actual occupation. Imagine you're Emma Auge, a student. The word for female student is étudiante. 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 Uk asks if you're a teacher. The word for a female teacher is professeur. 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 Say, no, I'm not a teacher. I'm a student. Ready? Non, je ne suis pas professeur. Je suis étudiante. No, I'm not a teacher. I'm a student. Non, je ne suis pas professeur. Je suis étudiante. Let's look at some more examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Non, je ne suis pas étudiant. Je suis investisseur. Non, je ne suis pas étudiant. Je suis investisseur. Non, je ne suis pas professeur. Je suis étudiante. Non, je ne suis pas professeur. Je suis étudiante. Non, je ne suis pas professeur. Je suis ingénieur. Non, je ne suis pas professeur. Je suis ingénieur. Non, je ne suis pas infirmière. Je suis médecin. Non, je ne suis pas infirmière. Je suis médecin. Non, je ne suis pas étudiante. Je suis professeur. Non. Je ne suis pas étudiante. Je suis professeur. Non, je suis barista. Non, je suis barista. Did you notice how the last speaker omits part of the response? Non, je suis barista. No, I'm a barista. Non, je suis barista. When directly responding to someone's question, it's often possible to omit part of the response. Here, by simply answering, Non. No, there is no need to say, Je ne suis pas étudiant. I'm not a student. The pattern is, Non, je suis actual occupation. No, I'm actual occupation. Non, je suis Actual occupation. You should be aware of this pattern, but for this lesson, we'll use the pattern. Non, je ne suis pas occupation. Je suis actual occupation. No, I'm not occupation. I'm actual occupation. Non, je ne suis pas occupation. Je suis actual occupation. Let's review the key vocabulary. Student. Étudiant. Étudiant. Étudiante. Étudiante. 
teacher. Professeur. 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 Engineer. Ingénieur. 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 Nurse. Infirmier. Infirmier. Infirmière. Infirmière. Médecin. Doctor. Médecin. Médecin. Barista. 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 Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then, repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember the word for a male investor? Investisseur. Investisseur. And how to say I? Je. Je. Do you remember how Hugues says I'm an investor? Je suis investisseur. Je suis investisseur. Do you remember the word for a male student? Étudiant. Étudiant. Do you remember how Hugues says, I'm not a student? Je ne suis pas étudiant. Je ne suis pas étudiant. Do you remember how Hugues Henry says, I'm not a student, I'm an investor? Je ne suis pas étudiant, je suis investisseur. Je ne suis pas étudiant, je suis investisseur. Do you remember the formal way to say you? Vous. Vous. Do you remember how Mark Lee asks, are you a student? Remember, Mark uses former French. Êtes-vous étudiant? Êtes-vous étudiant? Do you remember the word for a female student? Étudiante. Étudiante. And the word for a male teacher? Professeur. Professeur. Do you remember the word for a female teacher? Professeur. Professeur. Do you remember the word for a male engineer? Ingénieur. Ingénieur. Let's practice. Imagine you're Mark Lee and you're an engineer. Respond to Hugues' question. Ready? Êtes-vous professeur? Non, je ne suis pas professeur. Je suis ingénieur. Listen again and repeat. Non, je ne suis pas professeur. 
Je suis ingénieur. Non, je ne suis pas professeur. Je suis ingénieur. Let's try another. Imagine you're Liam Mercier and you're a teacher. Ready? Êtes-vous étudiante? Non, je ne suis pas étudiante. Je suis professeur. Listen again and repeat. Non, je ne suis pas étudiante. Je suis professeur. Non, je ne suis pas étudiante. Je suis professeur. Let's try one more. Now, imagine you're Emma Auge and you're a student. Ready? Êtes-vous professeur? Non, je ne suis pas professeur. Je suis étudiante. Listen again and repeat. Non, je ne suis pas professeur. Je suis étudiante. Non, je ne suis pas professeur. Je suis étudiante. This is the end of this lesson. Remember, these can-do lessons are about learning practical language skills. What's next? Show us what you can do. When you're ready, take your assessment. You can take it again and again, so try anytime you like. Our teachers will assess it and give you your results. Well done! Now you know how to talk about your occupation in French. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our CanDo course. Well done! Now you know how to talk about your occupation in French. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Welcome to Can Do French by FrenchPod101.com. Bonjour à tous, je suis Lia Mercier. Hi everyone, I'm Lia Mercier. In this lesson, you learn how to give your phone number. This is Mark Lee, and he's at City Hall registering his address. The civil servant who is helping him says, Your phone number, please. Votre numéro de téléphone, s'il vous plaît. Listen to the conversation and focus on the response. Note the civil servant in this conversation uses formal French. Ready? Votre numéro de téléphone, s'il vous plaît. Mon numéro de téléphone est le 06 00 34 57 00. Once more with the English translation. Votre numéro de téléphone, s'il vous plaît. Your phone number, please. Mon numéro de téléphone est le 06 00 34 57 00. My phone number is 06 00 34 57 00. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how the civil servant says, Your phone number, please.
Votre numéro de téléphone, s'il vous plaît. Let's start with Numéro de téléphone Meaning phone number Numéro de téléphone First is Numéro Number Numéro Numéro In French, all nouns have grammatical gender and are either singular or plural. Numéro is masculine and singular, a fact that determines the form of other words in the sentence. Next is de of in this context. De de Last is téléphone phone téléphone téléphone Note téléphone Translates as telephone or phone. We'll use the abbreviated version, phone, as this will include various kinds of phones, including mobile phones, landlines, and so forth. Together, it's... Numéro de téléphone. This literally means number of telephone, or telephone's number, but it translates as telephone number or phone number. Numéro de téléphone. Before this is... Votre, meaning your, in this formal context. Votre, votre. Note. Votre. Fundamentally means your, when referring to more than one person. But it's also a formal way to say your when speaking to someone directly using formal French. Now, you might be more familiar with... Ton. An informal word for your, as in... Ton numéro de téléphone. Your phone number. As this is a city office setting, the formal form Votre is more appropriate. Altogether, Votre numéro de téléphone. Your phone number. Votre numéro de téléphone. Last is S'il vous plaît. Meaning please. S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. Altogether, it's Votre numéro de téléphone, s'il vous plaît. Your phone number, please. Votre numéro de téléphone, s'il vous plaît. Remember this request. You'll hear it again later. Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember Mark's response? My phone number is 06. Zero zero three four five seven zero zero. Mon numéro de téléphone est le zéro six zéro zéro trois quatre cinq sept zéro zéro. Do you remember the phrase for phone number? Numéro de téléphone. Phone number. Numéro de téléphone. Before this is the word. Mon. My. Mon. Mon. In this sentence. Mon. Is masculine and singular to agree with. Numéro. Altogether, it's. Mon numéro de téléphone. My phone number. Mon numéro de téléphone. Next is. Est. Is. As in, my phone number is. Est. 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 Is from the verb. Être. Meaning to be. Être. Together it's. Mon numéro de téléphone est. My phone number is. Mon numéro de téléphone est... Next is... Le... Think of it like the in English. Le... Le... Here... Le... Is also masculine singular to agree with... Numéro... Note, in this sentence, the article... Le... Does not have a corresponding English translation. Next is Mark's phone number. 
0600-34-57-00. Note how Mark says his phone number. When giving your number in French, include a slight pause after each group of two numbers. Altogether, it's... Mon numéro de téléphone est le 06-00-34-57-00. My phone number is 06-00-34-57-00. Mon numéro de téléphone est le 06-00-34-57-00. The pattern is Mon numéro de téléphone est le phone number. My phone number is phone number. Mon numéro de téléphone est le phone number. To use this pattern, simply replace the phone number placeholder with your phone number. Imagine your phone number is 00112233. Zero, zero, un, un, deux, deux, trois, trois, quatre, quatre, zéro, zéro, un, un, deux, deux, trois, trois, quatre, quatre. Say, my phone number is zero, zero, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Ready? Mon numéro de téléphone est le 00112233444. My phone number is 00112233444. Mon numéro de téléphone est le 00112233444. In France, all numbers start with zero, with the exception of emergency services. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat, or speak along with the native speakers. Mon numéro de téléphone est le 06. 00 34 57 00 Mon numéro de téléphone est le 00 11 22 33 44 Mon numéro de téléphone est le 00 9 9 8 8 7 7 6 6 Mon numéro de téléphone est le 07 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2. 00 01 1 0 1 0 0 2. Did you notice how I omitted? Mon numéro de téléphone est le... Zéro 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 un un zéro un zéro zéro deux zéro 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 one one zéro one zéro zéro two. When directly responding to a request, it's often possible to omit part of the response. Here, by simply giving your phone number, there is no need to say. Mon numéro de téléphone est le. My phone number is. The pattern is. Phone number. You should be aware of this shortcut, but for this lesson, we'll use the sentence pattern. Mon numéro de téléphone est le phone number. My phone number is phone number. Mon numéro de téléphone est le phone number. Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then, repeat after me 
focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say phone? Téléphone. Téléphone. And how to say number? Numéro. Numéro. Do you remember how to say phone number? Numéro de téléphone. Numéro de téléphone. And how to say my phone number? Mon numéro de téléphone. Mon numéro de téléphone. Do you remember how to say my phone number is? Mon numéro de téléphone est. Mon numéro de téléphone est. Do you remember how Mark says, My phone number is 06-00-34-57-00. Mon numéro de téléphone est le 06 00 34 57 00. Mon numéro de téléphone est le 06 00 34 57 00. Do you remember the formal way to say your phone number? Votre numéro de téléphone. Votre numéro de téléphone. And how to say please? S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. Do you remember how the civil servant says your phone number, please? Votre numéro de téléphone, s'il vous plaît. Votre numéro de téléphone, s'il vous plaît. Let's practice. Imagine you're Karen Lee and your phone number is 08 72 36 90 66. Respond to the civil servant's request. Ready? Votre numéro de téléphone, s'il vous plaît. Mon numéro de téléphone est le 0 8 7 2 3 6 9 0 6 6. Listen again and repeat. Mon numéro de téléphone est le 0 8 7 2 3 6 9 0 6. Mon numéro de téléphone est le zéro huit sept deux trois six neuf zéro six. Let's try another. Imagine you're Ben Lee and your phone number is 01-10-10-02-03. Ready? Votre numéro de téléphone, s'il vous plaît. Mon numéro de téléphone est le 01 1 0 1 0 
0, 2, 0, 3. Listen again and repeat. Mon numéro de téléphone est le 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, 0, 3. Mon numéro de téléphone est le 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 2 0 3. Let's try one more. Imagine you're Justine Jerome and your phone number is 00 9 9 8 8 7 7 6 6. Ready? Votre numéro de téléphone, s'il vous plaît. Mon numéro de téléphone est le 00 9 9 8 8 7 7 6 6. Listen again and repeat. Mon numéro de téléphone est le 00 9 9 8 8 7 7 6 6. Mon numéro de téléphone est le 00 9 9 8 8 7 7 6 6. This is the end of this lesson. Remember, these can do lessons are about learning practical language skills. What's next? Show us what you can do. When you're ready, take your assessment. You can take it again and again, so try anytime you like. Our teachers will assess it and give you your results. Now you know how to give your phone number in French. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our CanDo course. Now you know how to give your phone number in French. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. With these can-do videos, you'll see real-life situations where you have to introduce yourself, talk about your family, or give your contact information. So, by the end, you can do them yourself in French. This video is a small portion of our can-do course. To get the full course, including translations, grammar tools, and assessment tests, click the link in the description. Welcome to Can Do French by FrenchPod101.com. Bonjour à tous, je suis Lia Mercier. Hi everyone, I'm Lia Mercier. In this lesson, you'll learn how to talk about your family. This is Ben Lee, and he's at a coffee shop with his classmate, Justine Jerome. Ben is showing her some pictures. She points to one of them and asks, Is this your family? Est ta famille? Listen to the conversation and focus on the response. Ready? Est ta famille? Oui, c'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur et moi. Once more with the English translation. Est ta famille? Is this your family? Oui, c'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur et moi. Yes, this is my father, my mother, my sister and me. 
Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. 1. Read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And 3. Take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our Can Do course. Just click the link in the description to get them. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how Justine asks, Is this your family? Est ta famille? Let's start with the word famille. Family. Famille. Famille. In French, all nouns have grammatical gender and are either singular or plural. Famille is feminine and singular, a fact that determines the form of other words in the sentence. Before. Famille is ta meaning your. Ta 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 is feminine and singular to agree with. Famille Together, it's ta famille. Your family. Ta famille. Moving to the start of the sentence, eh. is. Eh. Eh. Note. Eh. Is from the verb être. Meaning to be. Être. Next is ce. This. Ce. Ce. Together it's S. Meaning is this. S. Notice the word order when asking a question. E. Is. Followed by ce. This. When this inverted word order occurs in French, there must be a hyphen between the verb and the subject in this case. Note the pronunciation of S. S. It's pronounced as one sound. S. Is this? S. Altogether, it's. Est ta famille? Is this your family? Est ta famille? Note the rising intonation of the sentence to indicate that it's a question. Est ta famille? Remember this question. You'll hear it again later. Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Ben says, Yes, this is my father, my mother, my sister, and me. Oui, c'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur, et moi. This starts with the expression, Oui, meaning yes. Oui, oui. It answers Justine's yes or no question. Is this your family? Est ta famille? After this, Ben points to the picture and says, C'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur et moi. First is, C'est, meaning this is. C'est, C'est. Note, C'est is contracted with est to form c'est after this is mon père my father mon père père father père père mon my mon mon is masculine and singular to agree with père mon père Next is ma mère, my mother, ma mère, mère, mother, mère, mère, ma, my, ma, ma, is feminine and singular to agree with mère, ma mère, 
After this is... Ma sœur. My sister. Ma sœur. Sœur. Sister. Sœur. Sœur. Ma. My. Ma. Is feminine and singular to agree with... Sœur. Ma sœur. Next is... Et. And... Et. Et. And last is... Moi. Me. Moi. Moi. All together. Oui, c'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur et moi. Yes, this is my father, my mother, my sister and me. Oui, c'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur et moi. The pattern is... C'est family member, family member, family member et moi. This is family member, family member, family member and me. To use this pattern, simply replace the family member placeholder with the appropriate word for my and members of your family. Remember that the word for my will be... Mon when your family member is male and ma when your family member is female. Imagine your family members are your father, your mother, your brother, and you. Frère is brother. Frère. Frère. Frère is masculine and singular. Therefore, my brother is mon frère. Mon frère. Say this is my father, my mother, my brother, and me. Ready? C'est mon père, ma mère, mon frère, et moi. This is my father, my mother, my brother, and me. C'est mon père, ma mère, mon frère, et moi. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. C'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur et moi. C'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur et moi. C'est mon père, ma mère, mon frère et moi. C'est mon père, ma mère, mon frère et moi. C'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur et moi. C'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur et moi. C'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur, mon frère et moi. C'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur, mon frère et moi. Mes parents et moi. Mes parents et moi. Did you notice how I replaced mon père, ma mère with mes parents? Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. 1. Read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And three, take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our CanDo course. Just click the link in the description to get them. Mes parents et moi. My parents and me. The phrase, Mes parents means my parents. Mes parents. Remember, in French, all nouns have grammatical gender and are either singular or plural. Parents. Is masculine and plural, a fact that determines the form of other words in the sentence. Parents. 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 Before this is... Mais. My. 
Me. Me. Is masculine and plural to agree with? Parents. Mes parents et moi. My parents and me. Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then, repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say yes? Oui. Oui. And how to say me? Moi. Moi. Do you remember how to say and? Et. Et. Do you remember how to say sister? Sœur. Sœur. And how to say my sister? Ma sœur. Ma sœur. Do you remember how to say mother? Mère. Mère. And how to say my mother? Ma mère. Ma mère. Do you remember how to say father? Père. Père. And how to say my father? Mon père. Mon père. Do you remember how Ben says? Yes, this is my father, my mother, my sister, and me. Oui, c'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur et moi. Oui, c'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur et moi. Do you remember how to say family? Famille. Famille. And how to say your family? Ta famille. Ta famille. Do you remember how Justine asks, Is this your family? Est-ce ta famille? Est-ce ta famille? Do you remember how to say brother? Frère. Frère. And how to say my brother? Mon frère. Mon frère. Let's practice. Imagine you're Sasha, Ben's younger sister. Respond to your friend's question referring to the photo. Don't forget to include the word for yes at the beginning of your response. Ready? Est-ce ta famille? Oui, c'est mon père, ma mère, mon frère et moi. Listen again and repeat. Oui, c'est mon père, ma mère, mon frère et moi.
« Oui, c'est mon père, ma mère, mon frère et moi. » Let's try another. Imagine you're Ben's classmate, Noé Najar. You have a father, mother and sister. Ready? Est-ce ta famille Oui, c'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur et moi. Listen again and repeat. Oui, c'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur et moi. Oui, c'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur et moi. Let's try one more. Imagine you're Ben's classmate and language exchange partner, Justine Jerome. You have a father, mother, sister, and brother. Ready? Est-ce ta famille? Oui, c'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur, mon frère et moi. Listen again and repeat. Oui, c'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur, mon frère et moi. Oui, c'est mon père, ma mère, ma sœur, mon frère et moi. This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our CanDo course. Now you know how to talk about your own family in French. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson.